guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel i'm natalie and today no surprise bear with me we are doing another bookstore vlog i know i do these a lot but i just love going to the bookstore so i might as well take you guys with me but i do have a reason to go today i recently joined two different book clubs in columbus and they have selected the book of the month that we're going to read so i need to go pick those up so i can get on them they meet at the end of the month so i probably won't read them right away but eventually i will end up reading them so I can go to the book club and discuss and all that which I'm really excited about I've never done anything like this and I figured it'd be a good way to meet people since I don't really know many people here but that's the reason we're going to Barnes and Noble my girlfriend's also gonna do the book club so I don't know if I'm gonna pick up one copy or two but we'll see what ends up happening because we might read it at the same time so we'll see but we're gonna head over to Barnes and Noble and I'll take you guys along with me as always let's go find some books let's go because I feel like I have so many more. This little me too. So <laughs> me too. Me too. I. Okay, I made it to Barnes & Noble. The book that I'm looking for is called The Sundown Motel. I've never heard of it before. It's by Simon St. James. I'm looking at the Facebook page right now, but that's the book that won. So that's one we're gonna go try to find. You know, we'll see what else. We're gonna look at all the books because every time I come here, I have to. It's just how it goes. That's what we're gonna go look for. So let's go.
Okay guys, I am in my car just in the Barnes & Noble parking lot. I just got done, but I wanted to do a quick haul of the books I ended up picking up. So as you guys know, I went in for a specific book for one of my book clubs that I joined recently. It, it's called The Sundown Motel by Simon St. James. It says he's the author of The Broken Girls, which I've also never heard of, but this book has really good ratings on Goodreads, so I'm excited to read it. Let's read the back for you really quick. It says, Upstate New York, 1982. Viv Delaney wants to move to New York City and to help pay for it, she takes a job as the night clerk at the Sundown Motel in Fell, New York. But something isn't right at the motel, something haunting and scary. And then it says, Upstate New York, 2017. Carly Kirk has never been able to let go of the story of her Aunt Viv, who mysteriously disappeared from the Sundown before she was born. Carly decides to move to Fell and visit the motel where she quickly learns that nothing has changed since 1982. She soon finds herself ensnared in the same mysteries that claimed her aunt. So this sounds really interesting. The cover is so cool. I'm obsessed with it. But this, again, is one of the books I'm going to be reading for my book club. So I'm very excited to do that and then meet the girls that have also joined online because I've never met them. This is the first ever book of this book club. I wanted to join while they were still fresh and new. So that's what we're doing. The second book I ended up getting is another book that I'm going to read for a second book club. This book club has already been going on for a while now and I just joined recently through a Facebook page I found. The book is called The Woman in the Library. This is it. I don't really know anything about this book either and I did look at the Goodreads and it doesn't have the best rating so I kind of hate when I do that to myself because I sometimes base my opinion off of Goodreads and like whether I should read it or not. Again, this one's for a book club so I'm going to read it but this says, in every person's story there's something to hide. The ornate reading room at the Boston Public Library is quiet until the tranquility is shattered by a woman's terrified scream. Security guards take charge immediately, instructing everyone inside to stay put until the threat is identified and contained. While they wait for the clear, four strangers who happen to sit at the same table pass the time in conversation and friendships are struck. Each has his or her own reason for being in the reading room that morning. It just happens that one is a murderer. This one does sound interesting, but we'll see how it ends up going. I will keep you guys updated. If you want me to do like a book club reading vlog, let me know. That could be fun and I could kind of do those every month since I've joined two book clubs and I'm going to be reading two books every month for those different clubs. So that could be a cool video. And last but not least, I'm currently filming a reading thrillers for a week video. So I figured I would pick this one up because I've heard a lot about it. I actually just finished The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. So this is another Riley Sager book. I really enjoyed that book. So I figured I would pick this one up because I've heard a lot about it. And I recently moved to Ohio and I'll read the back for you, but it includes Ohio, so I wanted to pick it up. But this is what it looks like. It's called Survive the Night, and it just has the car on the front with the headlights. The back says, It's November 1991. Nirvana's in the tape deck, George H.W. Bush in the White House, and movie-obsessed college student Charlie Jordan is in a car with a man who might be a serial killer. Which, if you know Charlie Jordan from TikTok, it's just gonna make me think of her the whole time, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, that's besides the point. Josh Baxter, the man behind the wheel, is a virtual stranger to Charlie. They met at the campus ride board, each looking to share the long drive home to Ohio. Both have good reasons for wanting to get away. For Charlie, it's guilt and grief over the shocking murder of her best friend, who became the third victim of the man known as the campus killer. For Josh, it's to help care for his sick father, or so he says. The longer she sits in the passenger seat, the more Charlie notices there's something suspicious about Josh, from the holes in his story about his father to how he doesn't want her to see the inside of the trunk. As they travel an empty, twisty highway in the dead of the night, an increasingly anxious Charlie begins to think she's sharing a car with the campus killer. Is Josh truly dangerous? Or is Charlie's jittery mistrust merely a figment of her movie-fueled imagination? One thing is certain, Charlie has nowhere to run and no way to call for help. Trapped is a terrifying game of cat and mouse played out on pitch black roads in a neon lit parking lot. Charlie knows the only way to win is to survive the night. So this one, again, I've heard good things about and I liked the Riley Sager book I had. I also have another Riley Sager book that I haven't read yet. So I still have that one to read as well, but I figured this would be super interesting and I really liked the storyline of this one. Those were the three books I ended up picking up today at Barnes & Noble. Two of them I had to buy for my book club, so 
there's my excuse for that. The other one I just wanted to pick up, but I'm really interested to read all these. Obviously, September and October are gonna be the month of thrillers, which I am all here for because I love thrillers. I think they're so much fun to read, and I just love all the different stories and plots that come along with them. That was it for today's little book shopping vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for everyone that's been subscribing and loving my book videos. I love making them for you guys, and I feel like I really found something that I enjoy. So that makes me so happy that you guys are loving them as well. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you again for watching another video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.